And I do that through a customization tool that IBM provides, and it's called the Admin Config. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Windows application folder, uh, and this is only supported on Windows currently, though most of the changes that we make through this admin config on Windows will also apply to if you deploy ACS on Linux or Mac. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. But I'm going to go in the Windows application folder, and I'm going to actually need to do this from a command prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and launch my command prompt, and I need to launch it as an administrator on Windows. And then I'm going to navigate to my staging environment into, this case, my 5250 user, into that Windows application folder, which is where the install scripts for Windows are located. I'm going to run one of those install scripts, and it really doesn't matter which install script I run. I'm just going to choose the 64-bit install script here because we're not going to actually install it at this time. I'm going to pass it this admin config parameter. And what that means is that we're not actually going to install the client. We're going to configure it so that when it is installed, an administrator has pre-configured what capabilities the install of the client is going to have from this 5250 user folder. First thing you do when you run this admin config is it's going to say, do you want to change the current configuration? Yes, we do. We want to modify it so that we can set what options are installed or deployed when ACS is ran. If we said no, the whole thing would just go away and nothing would happen. Then we're going to say, is it OK to begin with the default configuration? Uh, if you just downloaded and extracted ACS, you could say yes but maybe you've been playing around with the client a little bit and you don't wanna, you know, you wanna continue working with that. 